we're going to get started now on how I set up a KK uh, board uh, to fly a quad lugs and there's a lot more you can do with this as far as uh, tuning um, and getting to a little bit finer adjustments and there's uh, quite a few videos out or not quite a few there's uh, a lot of videos out uh, on YouTube uh, to do uh, different settings uh, whenever you get used to flying with quad legs or if you're fairly new at it you know once you get a little bit more experience uh, you can go in and, and uh, you know start messing with the adjustments but but you'll find to fly uh, quad lugs, you can pretty much uh, leave everything on uh, the factory default settings. And that's what I do on all of the videos that you've seen of me flying these. So let's get started. Whenever you um, um, first get into it, uh, you know, we went through the transmitter, went through the receiver, and went, uh, you know, you'll bind the transmitter receiver. Okay, and then you have the uh, receiver that you're using and the transmitter. You want to make sure the channels like we just went through on the transmitter are um, matching the uh, channels on the receiver. After you do that, another good way to do this, and I'm going to turn on the receiver, um, you can go in and first of all what I would do is get some of the what I call nitty-gritty stuff out you can go down to uh, your uh, load motor layout and let's get that over with first and we'll go ahead and hit enter and this is going to give you all the different uh, uh, multi rotors that uh, are preset in here for uh, um, the KK board and we'll go down to in this particular one we're going to be using quattrocopter x mode and like i said there's tons of videos out on this uh, if you get more, want to get more into it uh, go check it out if you need any help you know let me know and i'll be uh, glad to do everything i can to give you a hand but we'll go into there we're going to set this up as that it says are you sure yeah and we're going to press yes. Now what this is going to do is going to give you the motor layout. You know, you're going to have number, it says number one motor, number two, number three, and number four. And uh, you want to, uh, that's how your uh, quad is going to be set up. And, and you'll check your rotation for each motor. And you want, you want to make sure the rotation is correct. And, of course, the props are uh, put on in that manner too to, to match the rotation. And then we'll go ahead and hit uh, next, and it'll walk you through, you know, each motor and give you where there's clockwise or counterclockwise. And we'll go ahead and hit back, and we'll get out of there. Now, at any time, you know, you can go to, um, if you get on, you take the props off, you, you don't remember quite how the, you know, the motors, how they're numbered or, you know, which way the motor's supposed to be turning or props are supposed to be put on, whatever. You can, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, you can always go to, to the, uh, um, let me back out here. You can always go to the show motor layout and, you know, it's going to show you what, you know, layout you picked. And it's going to, again, go through it so you can, you know, real quick see where everything's supposed to be going. Uh, so we'll get out of there. We'll go back into menu. And now we're going to go all the way up. We're going to get started with this. So the PI editor, again, need any information, let me know. Tons of videos out there. We fly off default on everything you see me flying. It does well for me. I'm sure it'll do well for you. So I really don't mess with that. If you want to get in more to it, let me know. Tons of videos out there to do that. We'll go to the next one. We're going to hit enter on this, and this is the receiver test. Now what this is going to do, you wired in your receiver like we just did, and uh, so you want to uh, double check this and make sure that your sticks are coordinating with what the KK is reading off your receiver and um, that they're moving in the right direction. So, you know, if you move your aileron stick on your, on your transmitter and it moves 
the elevator here, well, you got something crossed up in your wiring. You need to double check your receiver again uh, and uh, make sure your wiring is correct. When it is correct, you move your aileron to the left, it's going to show to the left. You go to the right, it's going to show to the right. If that's backwards, you can just go in and change the channel. You can reverse the channel in your transmitter. Elevator, you pull back on it, it's going to say, oops, it's going to say back. You push up on it, it's going to say forward. If it's reversed again, reverse your channel. Your rudder, left should show left, right should show right. And you definitely, again, want to make sure that every, when you move the stick aileron, it shows aileron here, elevator, elevator here, rudder, rudder here. If it's not, or if it's showing, you move the rudder and showing aileron, you got a problem, check your wiring. And get it to where it does match up. Your throttle, your, and when it's all the way down, show idle. You move your throttle all the way up. And on this particular one, I think it's showing like what, 87% or 88%, whatever. Um, I don't have it at 100%. Again, later after you get used to it, you fly it enough, you can fine tune this. Tons of videos out there. Let me know if you need some help. We're going to pull that back down to idle. And then the gear switch that you hooked up, uh, if you activate the gear switch, it says on, off, on, off. So you can toggle your switch and turn your auxiliary, which is going to do your auto level, turn your auto level on and off. If this is backwards or if you you know want it, it don't wait to be backwards if you choose to have it you know the switch in a different position when it goes on and off, just go ahead and reverse that channel on it and take care of it for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of this. We'll go back and we'll go down to the mode settings and we on this right here it's gonna if you we're using our gear switch to activate the self level. It's only doing it because it's set in, in uh, uh, auxiliary now to read the auxiliary channel on your receiver. If it was set here to stick, the switch wouldn't work. You have to use the sticks to do it. I would suggest to have it set to auxiliary and that way your switch will work. Need more help with that? Tons of videos or let me know. We'll go back on that and we're going to stick scaling. Now on this right here, and we'll do inner, I set dual rates in my radio instead of messing with this. I leave this on factory setting and I set uh, dual rates to 80 and that's how I fly everything that you've seen me fly. Um, some people may argue with me on that. It works. Uh, again, if you, uh, after you fly a little bit, or if uh, you want to uh, look into changing this, doing something a little bit different, videos out there, plenty of them, or let me know. Now I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna go move down. I'm not gonna mess with anything there. Self-leveling here. I don't mess with anything at all in here. I run off factory. We're gonna go down again and this is camera, I'm not messing with that. Sensor test, and says everything's okay, I'm good with that. We're gonna go down. ACC calibration, I do it every week. You can do what you want with it. I think it's very helpful to do it every week. Uh, it's just what I do. Some of the machines here, these multi-rotors, uh, I, I build and send to people. And if it's fully built and it goes through transportation, absolutely do this. Do it uh, once, I, I would do it, I personally do it once a week. Plenty of information out there on the net, you can do what you want. Um, that's what I do and, and uh, I have never had a problem with it. Um, if you get one that's transported or if you transport it a long ways, or if you ship it, absolutely do it. Absolutely do it. And of course, a new board, absolutely do it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Make sure it's set on a you know, flat surface. It tells you everything you need to know here. Go ahead and press continue. It's gonna do a countdown. And it says it's calibrating, it says it's okay. Hit continue, calibration, calibration succeeded. And that's all there is to it. So, you know, really just make sure it's on a level surface like it says. 
and you know doing it once a week twice a week you know every time you fly it who cares I mean it's it's can't hurt anything uh, or at least I don't know that it been able to hurt anything and we're gonna go ahead and go down with it and I'm not gonna mess with that uh, mixer editor um, I fly all quad lugs factory default I don't mess with this at all again plenty of videos out there let me know if you need some help with it if you want to get in and mess with this you can um, it, uh, you know the more you know about the board the more you deal with it the better it is it may be something you want to get into later on but to fly your uh, quad lugs you do not need to mess with this and I fly H um, every one we have I've flown on factory settings so that's what makes it easy about this you don't have to go in here and know all this stuff and get all crazy with it right now later on you can do all that but to fly and to fly as I do uh, in the videos that you see that uh, of me flying this is all I do it works factory default let's go back Whoop, too far back okay we're gonna go down another one and show motor layout again. I went over that just a few minutes ago. We've already done that. That's the first thing I do. Debugging, ah, it's not bugged, I'm clean. Uh, some people before they start, you know, um, uh, setting this up, even if it's brand new, they, they hit this right here and go to factory reset. Be honest with you, it, you can do it, it's, it's fine. Uh, if you have any question on it, tons of videos out there, do a little research, get comfortable with it, that's for sure. Um, I never have done that, me personally. And you see what I, how I, you know, you see the flight videos and they're all honest. When I say it's a maiden, it's a maiden. It's never been flown. So anyway, uh, you, you know, I, I've never done it. So, you know, that's going to be up to you. Do the research if you have any question at all, though. We're going to go back, and I think that was the end of it there. That's it on, on what it takes to get going with this. That's what I do on all of them. You do this, you'll be in good shape. Uh, uh, as I always say, when the first time you do fly one of anything, make sure it's far enough away from you. Make sure you have plenty of room around you. If something goes awry, you have a you know a crossed wire or anything like that, uh, you're a safe distance away. That's number one. That is number one. So definitely, you know, uh, uh, take care of yourself on that. And make sure you have plenty of room and and don't mess around with these things. You know, especially on the maiden flight, I wouldn't take you know anything for granted. I, I would make sure you have enough room. Um, Anyway, that's that. Um, you know, we went through the uh, transmitter. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the transmitter off. We went through the transmitter. We went through the binding. Uh, we went through, you know, tying in the wires. Um, the only other thing you're gonna have is checking the rotation of the motor uh, on the motor layout again. It tells you that, you know, you picked uh, your, your motor layout. If you have any question again on, um, you know which way uh, the motor is supposed to turn to rotation and which motor is which, go to show motor layout. That's after you picked it. We've already done that, and you know it'll it'll walk you through there again. And you know you can hit next, and it's going to start picking them out for you and tell you exactly. You know that one's clockwise. That's one, two is counterclockwise, and so forth. And that way you can check rotation um, and um, make sure your motor's turn right. Uh, plenty of videos out there on how to do that. You need any help, you let me know. Um, and uh, you know, to uh, change the rotation, just switch any two of the wires on that particular motor and change the rotation. Double check that, make sure that rotation is correct. After that's done, then you'll be ready to put your props on, your balanced props. Make sure you balance them. It's really smart to do that. Um, uh, install your balanced props uh, props on each motor uh, in the right manner so you know they're turning the right way. Um, I know you're ready to go out there and fly this thing. I tell you what, you're going to enjoy it. They fly very, very good. Again, this is Danny with Quad Lugs, and uh, thanks very much for watching this. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks.